Hi! In this video, we'll talk about lucky money. It's actually the end of the Tet holiday. I bet you guys received lots of lucky money, right? So what do you usually use it for? Or how do you usually save up your lucky money? There are lots of ways to save up lucky money. I mean, when I was young, I usually give it to my mom or my parent to actually keep it and save it up for me. As I grow a little older, I decided to keep my own lucky money. So I remember last year, the total amount of lucky money that me and my sister both received, we use it to buy an iPad. And now I still use it sometimes. And this year, things got a little different. So I still save it as usual. And I decided to save as much lucky money as possible so that I can have enough money to actually join the stock market. That may sound big, but I mean, why don't I join? Of course, I'm still not old enough. So my parent will basically kind of like sometimes they will take a look at my stock market account and they will kind of like look at it and tell me what is happening. And I guess in the future, when I was like a teenager, you know, college, university student, then I can take over my stock market account. But back to the main topic is that how can we actually keep and save our lucky money in the most efficient way? Because a lot of like young children, they usually receive their lucky money and they use it for lots of things. Of course, it's called a lucky money. So you can use it on anything you want. But I mean, how can we actually use that lucky money so that we can stay lucky all year and use it in the most sensible way possible? Because I see a lot of kids, they usually use their lucky money to buy lots of things like snacks or anything they want. That's a good way, but we can save it. So I think that we can actually use a little bit of money to buy whatever we want. And the rest, I think saving is a very good choice. There are many ways to save your lucky money. The first simple way is to put it all in the piggy bank. I think it's kind of fun because after a year and you have put so much money in, you and like your family surround the piggy bank and you will like count all of the money inside. It's a very fun activity for bonding and you will feel kind of happy with how much money you have saved over the year. But as you grow older, you can either keep it like keep it to yourself or I think the most sensible way is for your parent to keep it for you. I mean, your parent is not going to take all of your mo lucky money because they're your parent. When they keep it for you, they can either use it for your education or for anything you want. So if you want to buy something, just ask your parent. And I think that they are ready and they will, like, no hesitation at all. They will buy it for you. But you can also save it up for something. So when you have a goal that you want to save it up for this item, kind of expensive item, and I think that it will kind of like make you feel you want to save more because saving money is a really good habit. I mean, I'm not saying that we should not like spend money. We still can spend money, but spend it in something that is actually useful for you. Um, so saving money can actually help you be better at financial as you grow older. Because when you grow older, you have to kind of like, you know, your financial, you have to keep up with it and see if you still have enough money or you totally run out of money. And in the end, here's an important question is that we often ask ourselves, should we give our lucky money to our parent? Is that the most sensible way or we should not do that? I think it all depends on your family. But if you're a person who kind of like want to save money and you're still young, still in primary school or secondary school, then I think give it to your parent can be pretty good, pretty sensible because they will, they're adults. So they will know the right way to save up your money.
That's it for today's video. I'll see you.